And so it begins, ladies and gentlemen, the 22nd running of the Supercarts USA Super National. My name's Rob Howden, joined by Alan Rudolph from the Alan Rudolph Racing Academy. Uh, we're in Las Vegas, the Rio. We're back at the Rio. Uh, it seems to be kind of a good feeling. Everybody's feeling like we're kind of back home at the Super Nats. Would you feel the same way, Alan? You've raced here before. Yeah, that's exactly right, Rob. It's, uh, it, was, it was kind of exciting to when they announced last year we're going to be back at the Rio. And look at the backdrop over there. You know, it doesn't get any better than that. And this is where, you know, history has been made here uh, in particular, having, you know, guys like Michael Schumacher come and, and race at a place like this. So uh, it's really cool to be back. Alan, of course, on board with us as one of our, actually our primary, our title sponsor of our EK and Trackside Live coverage of the Super Nats here the, this year, the Alan Rudolph Racing Academy, his uh, school in Houston, Texas. We brought Alan out here. We have actually haven't had a chance to walk the racetrack. Nobody's walked the racetrack right. yet, so you're getting a little bit of a look here now. They'll open it up soon and give everybody a chance before uh, we get on the track tomorrow for Wednesday. But the reason why I brought you out here, Alan, as we get ready to start, which what, what will be essentially five pretty grueling days uh, of drivers trying to stay out of the trouble, but at the same time trying to find speed. I wanted to talk to you because you're a veteran. Not only are you a driver, but you're an educator. You're, you know, you're the premier coach in the sport. If somebody's coming in here for the first time on a, on a temporary street circuit or uh, parking lot course, which is so dirty and there's no rubber, what's the tip coming out of the box? How do you approach a weekend like this? Well, first of all, I mean, whether you're a veteran or a first time rookie here, um, you got to look at the track and you got to look at the pavement. You got to look at where the barriers are and the curbing and how you can use the curb or not use the curb, where you have to stay away from, how much runoff you might have in a certain area. You know, just in this turn we're standing in right here, if you look on the exit, it tightens up pretty dang quick right there, right? So when tonight, when it opens up at 630, I think they're going to let us do a track walk for the first time. So everyone's going to get to see it. And you got to look, you know, front, pretend you're driving, sitting in the seat of the cart right there and walk on the right driving line as you perceive it right then and just look for stuff. You know, look for where the problem areas might be, where the where the road tightens up on the exit, um, which curbs you can use, and uh, man, of course, anytime I ever did street racing or parking lot racing like this or this, I would always give myself just a little bit of extra room on the exit. Right, the, the last thing you want to do is find a barrier because it it'll end your day right now. You and I are different. Obviously, I give myself lots of room when I go to Rock Island or whatever it may be, and and this is something that the people that are watching this on EKN and our social media networks. I don't care where they're racing, if they're racing a street circuit somewhere or if they're coming to an event like this, how do you approach that first session? You, you know, you say you give yourself a little bit of room, rookie drivers probably a little more room. Is it, is it about trying to get a feel for the flow in that first session? Yeah. They're going to get four sessions on Wednesday, three before qualifying on Thursday. Is, is the first session just about getting the flow? It is, but to be honest, as a racer, though, you want to dig every, every time you, you hit the track and you want to find the limit straight away. And so, um, you know, I, I promise you, all the, the pro level guys, by the end of the first session, they're going to know the right driving line and they're going to be pushing the limits, right? So by session two, you're on it. Um, there's really not, if you wait and kind of just ease into it, you'll quickly fall behind. So you got to get after it right away. But of course, give yourself a little more room and, and really just kind of get the rhythm and the flow of the track, um, break things in. Uh, certainly don't go back and quickly make some changes. Oh my God, I got to change the axle or something, right? Um, don't worry about that. Just get through the first couple of sessions before you even think about making a change to the go-kart. Well, that's it. If you're getting the feedback as well on the cart, if, if your cart's really, really loose on Wednesday, that's a pretty good thing. If you're tight already, then you may be in trouble. Yeah, I don't think anyone will be tight on a track like this, but uh, you're right. Don't make any changes. You know, it's, and it also um, not only finding your way around, but maybe gearing a little bit. You know, that um, you can get real close to the gearing in those first couple of sessions. Um, of course, as the track rubbers in, you start carrying some more rolling speed through the corner. You might make a tooth or two adjustment later on, but um, but you can actually in the first couple of sessions kind of figure out the gearing as well. Folks, we're thrilled to have Alan here with us all weekend on the EK and Trackside love, live coverage of this year's Scusa Super Nationals. We're going to bring him up in the tower. He's going to be one of our analysts throughout the weekend. Going to give us a little input on the way the track's kind of evolving. But again, great input to start things off. Again, Alan Rudolph, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. A lot of guys in the paddock itching to get out here, as Alan said, to see this track for the first time. They'll be on the racing surface tomorrow morning, and then we roll all the way through to Super Sunday. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media channels. David Colby rocking, of course, with all the race reports. We go live with qualifying on Thursday.